Pod first. Hi folks and welcome to an OA Labs quick tip. So this is for all of you who are trying to learn reverse engineering while also trying to learn assembly. I know that can be difficult and what I wanted to do is give you two tips today for two tools that you'll probably be using a lot where you can actually get some more information about the assembly that you're looking at from the tool itself. So the first tip is auto comments in IDA. So if we open up IDA here, you can see this is the normal interface you'd be presented with. We're using the free version of IDA. Just in case you guys have the free version, this works on all versions. And so what we do is we go to options and then we go to general and then we go to this display disassembly line parts and click auto comments click OK, and then you'll see here beside each line in the disassembly, there's a little tip about what the disassembly is doing. So in this case, you can see there's a call and Ida has helpfully told you this is a call procedure. Now, obviously most of us probably understand what a call is, but this actually helps out a lot with more esoteric instructions that you don't see too often. And if we jump into one of these functions here, basically most instructions are gonna have a nice little label here. They also label jumps, which is very nice. If we go to our entry point here, you can see there's the condition for the jumps for each one of the jumps. So if you're not super familiar with the flags, this will helpfully tell you what flags you need to be looking out for for these jump conditions. Again, very helpful if you're learning to reverse engineer at the same time that you're learning assembly. And of course, for someone like me who's a little forgetful, it's nice to have these reminders every once in a while if you're looking at some assembly code that is not really standard. So if there's instructions you don't see too often, this can help out a lot. So again, that's options, general, and then auto comments. So hopefully that's helpful for you guys. And the second tip is help on mnemonic in x6040 bug. So if you open x6040 bug here, again, we've just opened a basic Hello World program, and you can see this is the interface that you would be normally presented with. Now, what you can do here, there isn't auto commenting, but there is a lookup function where you can look up the mnemonic. So if you were to click on an instruction here, right click, and then help on mnemonic, it'll actually show you the help page for this mnemonic. And if you scroll up a little bit, you can see this is the entire documentation for that interrupt code that we were just clicked on right here. So if you forget what that is, you can do that right click help on mnemonic. It'll open up the log view with a printout of all of the help documentation for that mnemonic. And there's quite a bit of documentation here. Obviously you have to scroll up and down inside the log view, but the whole documentation for that uh, mnemonic will be printed out here. So this may not be as easy as Ida's comments inline. Whoa, hold up, something crazy just happened. So I actually released this video without this part in it, and someone on our Discord, uh, Robots on Drugs, full credit to you, just said, hey, you missed something. There's actually this feature in X6040 bug that will actually show you all the comments for the instructions beside the assembly. So I'm sat here editing with my doggo who's like looking at me all confused. Like, why are you freaking out here, Sergey? So I took our video down. Oh, he's, he's down for the count here. I took our video down and I'm gonna add the section in because you can actually get the comments right beside the assembly in X6040 bug. So let me show you that right now. Okay, so we have X6040 bug open here. And just like before, we're gonna right click, but this time we're gonna choose show mnemonic brief. And voila, there we go. We have comments for all the different assembly instructions. And look at this, this is fantastic. And again, I had no idea about this. Uh, I'd been using the lookup instruction on stream. Nobody told me that you could do this. And of course I should have just looked. If you right click, you can see it's actually right below help on mnemonic, but I just, I never even thought to look at it. So thank you so much uh, to Robots on Drugs, funny handle, but thank you so much. Uh, and for all of you who are trying to learn assembly, you can use this trick to see the comments right beside the assembly here in X6040 bug. So that's it, just two quick tips for you guys. Hopefully you find these helpful as you're trying to learn reverse engineering and assembly at the same time. I know it's difficult. I myself had to do it at once, so I do remember. But hopefully these two tips will help you guys out and stay tuned for more tips. This month is debugger month here at OA Labs. So we're gonna have a lot more content coming on debugging malware. So stay tuned for that. And if you like these tutorials, check out our Patreon. We have a lot of reverse engineering content there that you might enjoy. Until next time, keep exposing the mechanics behind the malware. Stay curious. See you on Discord. Yes.